these are the parts for my new extended intake. Um, a piece of preformed 45 degree silicone tubing. Some chunky, heavy duty T bolt hose clamps. A nice little shorty intake. And a piece of uh, another extended intake that didn't work out for me. All right, and you'll see how this all goes together. And uh, link in the description to these parts. Okay, over here at the bike. Now, we can see right away that this length here is going to have to be trimmed um, in order to to get this in here. Now I'll be able to rotate this enough to have this part level. So we can get this level here, but what we really want is for this curve to come out around here. The problem with cutting something like this is as you cut, it's going to bend and flex, um, resulting in a you know, not a clean cut. So the way I'm going to cure that, so the way I'll cure that is by taking this piece. Now this is the piece that's going to go in the back of the carburetor. This will go in the carburetor and then this will stick out the other end. But what I'll do to cut that line is I'll take this or another piece that I have around and I'll shove it in this pipe and I'll shove it back just beyond where I need to cut so that when I'm cutting I have this uh, metal um, tube in there to keep this rigid. Alright, so that'll be step one is cutting off some of this end of the tube. That's pretty easily. Pull that tube out and give it a test fit. Alright, definitely more has to come off. Probably a lot more. Let's take a little bit more off and see if we can uh, arrive at a final Go with something like this. It's a little straighter. Still not enough. Getting there. All right, we'll just go a little bit thicker than this. So like 10 millimeters. Come back and check again. All 
right, got the calipers locked in at about 10. Doe and doe. So right about there. Okay, that's actually just a needs just a little bit more so it's not running into this um, cable guide. Um, the way this sits right now is pretty level. As I said, I can always rotate this and change the angle. Right? That's steeper, that's more level. Um, I will definitely cut some off of this end, but I am going to take a little bit more off of this end back here. Try and get this off of this um, cable guide here. I really do want this back here. I might end up leaping this length, but we'll see. We got to go through this a piece at a time here. It's the way it goes when you're coming up with your own solutions. You have to kind of figure it out as you go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more off. Probably just one of these windings. It's a good mark there. I'm going to move this back a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit more off and then leave it. Let's check these big, gnarly T-bolt hose clamps. All right, so we've cut the one end to size. I just want to take a little bit off of the carburetor end. And the insert that goes in the carburetor and then into this tube will allow me a little bit of adjustment. If I cut a little too much off, I'll be able to just pull that out a little bit. Okay, now we'll put this on to test fit it. I think that's pretty good. I could cut a little bit more off, but um, I could straighten this out a little bit too. I might try and uh, level this a little bit. It looks like it's, it's hard to cut hose perfectly straight. Got new gaskets in the mail. Got my fuel line. Uh, Everything is ready to go to finalize this intake. Got a new gasket ready to go. OK. 
okay now that the intake is bolted on we'll leave this loose for now This little piece of a uh, tube is tight in the carburetor. As I said, um, you can tilt this part of the tube down or up just by twisting it here. So we'll get that basically level. All right, I'll get a bigger screwdriver and we'll tighten this side first. And then we'll make sure the carburetor's straight. Right now we'll work out this fuel line. Getting this fuel filter in is a little more difficult because it's plastic and it wants to bend. This is a really tight fit. Push and twist. These are almost too small. The next size up is definitely too big, but they'll be tight anyway. Okay, hopefully this is tucked in enough that my leg doesn't hit this choke lever. And tomorrow, We'll take this outside and check for leaks.